All right, so uh, tonight is more of just kind of a social hangout, but there are some uh, holiday type things. The reason that we were just a teeny bit uh, late was because I made my co-host <laughs> test drive with me virtual jingle bingo, uh, and we think we figured out how it works. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about it. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the chat for people to go get their card. Um, it card. pops up in a browser. You're able to mark virtually on your screen if you have the phrase. Okay. Um, and I, it, it has a randomized caller that I will read aloud. So I have no idea what order it's going to be in, uh, what happens with it, any of that kind of jazz. Um, and now I need to remember what the link is. I think it's this one. Uh, let me put this over here in the Google Meet chat. Slash mm, slash gidget. Oh crap! Hold on, that one doesn't have that one doesn't have the full HTTPS. In it. <laughs> I was like, "What? Why did it show there up?" There we go. Ah, oh, mm, that's nice. And okay. it being it being uh, in Chrome, I zoomed it so that it fills more on the screen, so I can read it better. <laughs> Let me do this. Come here, you. I'm gonna try something fun and different. We're gonna go then. Then really, really handy. Like I, I, I used the uh, Windows 11 uh, integrated uh, uh, tiling of windows by moving the one window to the side and then have then selecting the the call on the other. So now I've got them like side by side right there. It's great. Geek side speak. By, side. by the way, this is CML 6, 6.30. Uh, it's December 26, uh, 2021. Happy Boxing Day to all those who celebrate. <laughs> well, or <laughs> celebrate, I suppose, it's more like like uh, uh, basically Black Friday here in the United States. This Fair. game is going to be difficult for me. Why is because? Because I don't think I've done any of the things on the list here. No, oh, this no, year no. are going to be called out. You know, actually. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> that comes later. The you revealing truthfully your interaction. All right. Uh, if you have your virtual bingo card up in the upper left hand corner, you should have an ID number that's three digits long. Yes. Um. So hopefully, because there's not that many of us, we have different cards, quote unquote. Uh. So we wouldn't have like triplicate bingo called uh for the same card, but we'll see. Oh God. How that works out. Come on. Everyone have their card? Not yet. Are they... you kidding me with this thing? Did you close your card from earlier? Yeah. Probably. So do we automatically mark the free space in the center? You can. Yeah, it's a free space. So you put Woo! your cursor over top and then click and you should get a red X that appears. That's fantastic. I practiced that just now. That's perfect. So for those of you that are interested, this is all free. It's online. Um, and you can make up your own bingo cards, which is what these are. Or you can play actual, well, you can play bingo with the 75 numbers. Um, keep in mind, gaming and gam gambling rules apply <laughs> wherever you are. <laughs> this is different. This is for fun and, and online. So, yeah, this is all just kind of phrases that are holiday uh, themed. Hence, it's called the Jingle Jingle Bingo. Jingle Jingle Bingo. Oh, God. <laughs> you could be okay there, David. <laughs> no. Um, that was just, that was a, a, a mental just like flashback just came in with the jingle jingle. And I was like, uh oh, okay, there we go. Okay. So let me move these around. Okay. okay so yeah. then if everyone's marked their free space, mm -hmm. we'll move into starting the call for uh, game one. Oh, okay. First call is, like the live action Grinch movie more than the cartoon. Oh. Now this doesn't mean that you do, this is the actual phrase you're looking for. So in one yeah. of your squares, it would say like the live action Grinch movie more than the cartoon. Got it. Which is probably some fighting words for some people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I would definitely think that, that that's some fighting words for some people. In I love Jim Carrey, but... Actually, honestly, I've never actually seen the live action one. So, I played the video game on SNES. Yeah, that was based on that's, that's that's a that's a that's a that's a dated question. That's a dated response. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of us old fogies here, of course. Nice. Now I'm trying to remember when the Grinch movie actually came out. Was it during the SNES? No, like like 
like no the uh, original one? Like the cartoon? No, the live action one. Live no action? Way. No, 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 no. Okay. No. no, that's a relatively recent abomination. Um, Jim Carrey recent. Grinch came out in 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Recent. So, yeah, it, I think that was N64 days. I don't remember. Mm. Well, my sister didn't have an N64. Maybe it was PS1 then. Oh, that wouldn't make sense. Well, that's that's the original Grinch movie. So, but was the game actually uh, uh, one based off of the cartoon? Hold on, which would have been like 1980s, I think. Now I have to go and look at this. Jim Carrey. Now we got to Google this game. Oh no, there was a Grinch game released for PS One, which yep. would tie the era. But was there okay. one before? That's that's scary. Um, I didn't need to see that picture. Um, <laughs> what? There's a there's a there's a picture when you look up the Grinch thing. There's an image from the um, I'm assuming the video game itself. Um, this is again 2000, so we're looking at 2000 computer graphics. Mm. Yeah, the Grinch does not look fun. Yeah. The Grinch looks like he's in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, shall we continue? <laughs> I was going to say, are we ready to move on to the next? Yes. <laughs> on that tangent that I said us oh. on. All right. I I'll think I'm two. frozen. I'll join you guys in a bit. I gotta restart. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Call number two. Most holiday cheer. Most holiday cheer. Because, you know, well, most of us probably have an annoying coworker yeah. that's just a walking. Just well, the off. nice thing about working from home is you don't have to worry too much about that. Ain't got to worry about that shit at all. God yeah. bless me. Uh, unless, uh, unless your chat is just being uh, immensely filled with... Uh, the the annoyance that is the cheer. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just thinking, like you know, where they're constantly wearing you know themed attire every day, uh -huh. and they might have like you know earrings or a lanyard that has a jingle bell on it, you know, because they have the only the only holiday I'm really cheerful for is Halloween. So that's a good one to be cheerful for though uh-huh shall we continue call number three best holiday pun which oh, i don't dear. know if i'd know any well i mean ow i stubbed my mistletoe oh that's not the best <laughs> 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 Oh dear. Resting Grinch face. Mm. That's a new one on me. Uh, it's lovely weather for a gay home together with you. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Christmas alphabet has Noel. Oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Oh, <clears throat> and we're done. Slay what? <laughs> yeah. There, there was this clever meme I saw online of um, they're talking about the elf on the shelf, and it was a conversation between kids and I guess the mother and the kids were like, "What does everybody else get to have an elf on the shelf and we don't?" And then the mother, being a pagan background, she's like, you will never invite the Fae in this house. The Fae are evil. That is a lesson, absolutely. <laughs> Look, uh, for me, Fae is just, uh, uh, they're just kind of wild and chaotic. So uh, evil and good can be either way. It's just they're very chaotic. Mm -hmm. Um. Hi, everyone. Uh, Hello, two welcome things. Back. One. Um. The the Grinch crashed my computer. What was the second? <laughs> second call out was most holiday cheer. 
Okay, got it. I uh, will find it in a minute. All right. I think uh, that's what I missed. Best <laughs> holiday pun. Oh. oh, it sucks. Can you, like, say the one above, please? <laughs> could do that. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what your one above is. Um, <laughs> we were just going over well, bad holiday puns. Yeah. We got a poker face how far we are in 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 the potential of getting a bingo. So you can't really Wait. try to to try to call it out or people are gonna know. <laughs> Wait, what what happens if people know? Well, this is supposed it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh I know okay, see I'm failing, mate. It's so bad. Oh, it's so <laughs> terrible. I can't catch up. How would I survive? Well, one thing we do know about um uh, Lloyd here is he's really terrible at poker. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's Please, no it's... joke. Oh, okay. God, stop. We're going to stop ah! right now. We're going to stop. 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 <laughs> if my if, if my partner hears any of this, I'm I'm doomed. I will what send him. Think? I'll send you no. the link and you can share it with him for next holiday season. It's a lovely list of 75 holiday puns. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, call number four. Shared a favorite holiday memory. Oh. oh. There are, are, are on this list, there are more stuff than is actually on the cards, so that sometimes you don't have something to click. I That's think, but question. I don't recall. Quick question Do diagonals count? For bingo, yeah. Do, do what? Diagonals, like mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah. Across. Okay. A diagonal It's got to be the five in a row. So. But, from so corner to corner. corner. Gotcha. Got it. So yeah, in the in the U.S. for our bingos, uh, it's any straight line, diagonal, up, down, left, right orientation. I have only I was... seen bingo on TV. I have no idea how this game works. Oh. <laughs> so... Bingo. No, I'm kidding. Well, it's like a five square tic tac toe. Yeah, I, I, I'm picking this up. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Is there connect there. four? Oh, that's true. Plus one. Connect more. four, except there's five. Yeah. <laughs> connect five. Speaking of connect five, call number five is has more than one holiday tree. Mm. Ugh. So one year. If you're in an apartment, you should. Only have one holiday tree. I suppose if you have like a mini tree in your bedroom or something, and then one in your living room. I don't, I suppose, I don't have but... a tree. That's okay. So yeah. I have one. I just never. Didn't don't worry it about it. Too lazy so about one it. year, Jim and I had. I want to say five or six. Main one, small wow. two small one here behind me. Well, you can't see, but there was one here. Then we had the one in up the hallway in the up the stairs, like right there. And then we had a little like metal one in the guest room. So that's six, yeah. I have three, so, I think, in, in my home. So, I only have one of them up. So my partner is the decorator. I let him do what he wants. <sighs> Just and be then, like, yes, honey, whatever you say, honey. Yeah, sure, like, honey. Put, that's put him, fine, put, honey. You, you put them up. You can put okay, it all up. Honey. And then I will help you take it down. But I, I, I will, I will, I will. You can, just, you can do it everywhere. Give me directions, I'll honey. I'll do mm -hmm. whatever. Exactly. Fine. Put that there. Put that there. Nice. Okay. Move that out of the way. Got it. I'm good. We didn't do any decorating this year, but in years past, um, we've had that like six trees. Speaking of six trees, call number six. <laughs> Stocking visible in the background. Something you might see, I imagine, like on a video call. Mm. I had that earlier. Yeah, you did. What stockings? Like, well, yeah, I had a, I had a background that was a was um, leather wow. stockings. If you remember, it's the holiday season. The last episode, that's what I had in the background. In episode two sixty nine. Mm. Or two twenty nine. Excuse me. You mean not six, at sixty nine? Like that was not the episode number. <laughs> it's twenty nine. I corrected myself immediately. Okay. Uh, call number seven. Mariah Carey reference. God bless her. 
All I want for no. Christmas uh, oh, oh. is <laughs> I did not hear that this Christmas. But I, 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 I swear, I've mostly I swear been that's isolating. like I swear that that's like the next uh uh version of uh the uh apocalypse or whatever it is. Yeah, Wham uh, Whamageddon. Yeah. Whamageddon. Yeah. So we got Whamageddon and then we'll have the the uh the Mariah Cataclysm. Yeah. I don't know something like that. <laughs> that's not bad. So um <laughs> I have a love hate relationship with that song because we've sung it so many times in the chorus that I just I'm like no I can't. I mean it's become a holiday classic. Yeah. To to for better or for worse. <laughs> it's become a quality class. Our worse. Right. Our worse. Our worse. Call number eight. Ho ho ho. Rude. Who are you calling a ho? Well, if the jock strap fits. <laughs> Always have that shade fan, Henry. There are a few people I would hope for, and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> be true to yourself, Owen. Be true to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, uh, can whistle 15 seconds of Jingle Bells. Although I just realized, I think I misspelled bells. <laughs> if yeah. anybody has it, beals. Yeah, I think it's this. I think it's this can whistle. Fifteen seconds of jingle beals. I have bingo. Oh. Oh. So the question is, what is your card number, Owen, in the upper left corner? I check oh, the card. Zero, zero, five. Okay. The reason I ask is because at, so this whole virtual thing, it actually lets me look up the actual card that was digitally created to see the bingo. Not that you would lie. It's a confirmation. Bingo card five should look like this at call nine, if marked correctly. Call nine. At the, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> That's a really uh, thorough Service. Yeah. So it is a diagonal from upper left to bottom right through the, the free space. Congratulations, Yay. Owen. When I, when, I, when I do this, it, I, I'm, almost, I'm also invisible. <laughs> you can just see my hands. Hose for the win. <laughs> ho, ho, ho for the win. <laughs> nice. Now, the question is do we want to continue? We can continue with this uh, particular card. A couple more calls to see if we get anybody else that wins. Ooh. Uh, I or do you want to reset? I'm okay to reset. Anyway, think on this one. I'll continue. You know it's fine. Let's continue. Okay. Let's say let's get a second place. Call ten is Ba Humbug. Ba. But so one of the fun things that will happen this year, uh, this is actually the last year that the theater that put, has been putting on um, Christmas Carol, Christmas Carol, mm -hmm. not a Christmas, no, nope, no, nope, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Carol, a Christmas Carol, Jesus Christ. Um, they they will be doing it for the last year. This is the last year they're doing it. They've been doing it for, I want to say. 30 years really are they moving on to another show or um i'll just get what it said um oh, come on i'm looking it up now don't mind me um oh fuck. i was hoping to get like an actual Thing, but like a press was, release or something? Yeah, because I remember them saying it. It's on their page. I'll jump to a friend of mine who does a lot of the theater stuff. Continue. Um, call number 11. 
can name all of the other reindeer. Dasher, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comic, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. What is the origin story of the reindeer in the first place? Santa's reindeer. Yeah, but like, who came up with the idea that Santa uses reindeer to go about the air? Was that before Coca-Cola or after Coca-Cola? Oh, it was definitely before Coca-Cola. Oh, let me think. It, it's uh, it, because I, I, I can almost guarantee it's been... Because I don't think the Coca-Cola stuff with Santa happened until like the 1960s. Maybe 50s. The first reference to a Santa reindeer was in 1821 in Old Santa Claus with Much Delight, a children's mm. poem published in New York City. Mm. And now you know. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. You're going to get super slow on me, aren't you? Oh, and right? then the Twas the Night Before Christmas in 1823 is where the rest of that reindeer come from. Twas the Night uh, Before Christmas, uh, the the um, uh, cartoon, I really like. The one with the mice? There yes, I think so. Yeah, the, clock tower, the broken clock tower. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good one. Come on, Rob. Give me the information I want. Oh. Come on, me. I'm... It's all right. Uh-oh, Chris. Call number 12. Christmas is so overly commercial. Uh, bingo. <gasps> oh! I literally have three one point <laughs> uh, possibilities for bingo. Nice. <laughs> What's your card number, Josh? Zero two zero. Zero oh, number twenty. Zero two. That's a lot of clicks. <laughs> I have to change the ID number to verify. <laughs> oh, cool. You have a bottom left to top right diagonal through the middle. That is accurate. Nice. Look at all these diagonals. E winning up in that free space. That's just not fair. No. <laughs> oh, Lloyd's got some criticism for us. I would like to say, since we're not receiving prizes for this, I would like Nate to be sent to my email. <laughs> Listen to you. I'll PayPal you one thousand dollars. No. <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to find this little information. That's okay. If I can, I was hoping I would get it was going to be quickly, but it was. All right. Do we want to continue with calls? I feel um, if Jeff is that close to winning, we might as well finish up. Oh, like that's nice of you to not like just leave Jeff hanging on on the edge of. Mm, it's fine. I I, <laughs> I I I enjoy edging. It's fine. It's not what I meant. Okay. <laughs> Little holiday edge. It was right there. I had to say it. That's always what happens with edging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just it's just right, there. right, right, right there, right there, right there. And, and you get like right there. right in the sweet spot, right? There. Mm -hmm. it just hits the mark. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Back off. All right. Hold. Oh, back. Back off. Back off. Uh, hold. Back off. Ah. Uh, hold. Mm -mm. Hold. Nope. Uh. Uh. Don't touch it. Uh. Uh. Nope. What is your nope. sex life like? <laughs> here comes. Here comes the dom out of of David. <laughs> <laughs> just stop the working about the icing. Icing. Calm down. Ripping the spray icing on their <laughs> No icing. <laughs> have you, real quick, um, uh, um, Gary, have you checked to see if anyone else has come in? No, I haven't gotten any more uh, doorbells. Cool. 
Yeah, yeah it's just like a I'm holiday just... special when somebody oh, okay. wants to cut uh, to join, <laughs> and there's a, a, a jingle. Like there's a, there's a doorbell. <laughs> the one like the stage is ding dong. Oh, who else is here? Oh, we've got somebody new. <laughs> Oh look! Let's it's see Jackson who it is. Five. Why can't they come in? And like, <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> well, the, I mean, those we were got, probably we during got, those days. So we got, we got, we broke down down the street apparently somehow because we're in this fictional city that we no one ever knows. Yeah. And then we're just gonna stop by, and we've apparently also have all our instruments and and equipment. So we're gonna just sing a song for you. Oh great! Here you go. Never. Sorry, just. <laughs> Don't mind my tangent. <laughs> it's the Donnie and Marie Christmas special. <laughs> exactly. Uh, man, I miss those. Never having Christmas specials. I mean, it, now it's all just a holiday movies in the Hallmark Channel. Presented yeah. by a Hallmark. You know. Fun times. Oh, shall we continue? I was gonna say, do we want to continue with yeah, any more it. of let's, the bingo? Let's go. Let's, let's let's continue. Let's try to find third place here. Okay. Yeah, we were talking about edging. Time to get <laughs> Jeff wants off. to see whether or not he gets to release. <laughs> Number fourteen. Happy holidays. Bingo. There <laughs> Um, I I also reach bingo, so we came at the same time. Oh, oh. Just a heads up. <laughs> zero to three for me. Jeff's got an up down erect uh, <laughs> on the zero. fourth column. And look who's hey, Jay. Us. The okay. the world uh, uh, the the, the world, world pet pop. Or pet. Or pet. Pet. I guess the link changed. Oh yeah, sorry. I put it in the. In he might the not bed. have seen it. Sorry. Oh, did you did you put it in the the Facebook thing? Yeah. Tried. It's a it's a, it's a uh, it was a uh, uh, confluence of of accidentally creating two version two instances of this. <laughs> Were you gotcha. sitting in another version for like half an hour? Uh, no, I tried. To, well, first it said it was started at six, but then I read the invite and it said six thirty. So then I left and came back, and then I tried to join from the link, and then no one answered. So I just said fuck it. So I did all of that exact same thing except saying the word fuck it. Well, I'm on my second drink now, so I figured by the time if I ever end up joining, uh, I will be drunk. So. Oh well, that's good. Good yeah. admit. <laughs> well, we we finished the jingle bingo, and we've had four winners for three places: first, second, and fourth. Technically, yeah, yes. I, think, I think it's technically fourth, or is it third? And, and then the next one will be fifth. With two Jeff, I'm yeah, happy well, to leave fourth to you while I take third. That's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll be right behind you. No. Oh. <laughs> this is the true holiday game. Who gets to be the top? <laughs> Out of this group? Hmm. Don't you dare. Uh, oh. <laughs> Gary, that is position as eight ninety not. <laughs> Appreciated on the side, as you know. Oh, oh, <laughs> go ahead, Owen, with that shade. Best, Ooh. best, best use of sipping a cup ever in a delivery of a comment from AJ. Mm -hmm. I feel like I learned it from someone. Mm. I have no idea who you learned that from. Not like somebody ever gifted you a, an enameled pen of Kermit sipping tea or anything to help <laughs> honorize that. Not from a certain person. All right, so holiday this or that. Pretty simple. Uh, people pick one or the other. These are all holiday themed. Um, this may spark a lively debate. Hopefully no one will storm out of the room. Uh -oh. I am definitely going to storm out the room. That's your prerogative. Drama be damned. 
<laughs> uh, first one, snowflakes, icicles. Do people have any preferences? Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Look, I, icicles. I, I, I have a problem with flakes, so we'll go icicles. <laughs> I guess it I'm just, just depends on what they're for. I mean, what am I using them for? That's fair. It's like if you're using them to try to bludgeon someone, then icicles. But <laughs> if not, then snowflakes. Or if I want to use one to stir my tea or something, then I want I want if if I'm ever in a situation where I have to defend myself, then obviously icicles. Um, no, hold yeah. oh. Absolutely. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Lloyd. I, I was just you. going to say one black brother to another that <laughs> <laughs> that I feel like you're being unfair on snowflakes. Snowflakes is viewed as art, whereas icicles are viewed as physical pra what's called practices. So we really should be comparing them based on the things they can do, and more based on how strong they are in their categories. Snowflakes, for example, are pretty beautiful and unique. Whereas every icicle looks exactly the motherfucking same. That's true. So right? if we're gonna go by that yeah. fans, we should go for which one we want. Yeah, but the snowflakes are so small that it's hard to tell that they look different. Otherwise, to the naked eye, uh, when you're just looking at them in general, they all look pretty much the same. Like, no, so snowflakes like... don't have a chance to kill you. If they fall. That's why I pick snowflakes, Owen. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to die. I mean, they are pretty. <laughs> If there's enough snowflakes, they can accumulate and kill you. Yeah. Fair. Avalanches are a thing. Yes. <laughs> so if I were to fall asleep on a bed of snowflakes or a bed of icicles, I'd rather have a bed of snowflakes. So also true. And there wow. we go. Welcome to that debate. That was that was some <laughs> stuff I didn't expect. <laughs> that was quite a debate. <laughs> All right. Next one. Caroling or looking at lights. Lights. Oh, Lights. Yeah. Lights. I'm going to go with caroling. I have to agree. I do love a good singing. I feel, I feel <laughs> lights. What? Did, did, wasn't there some sort of musical that you did recently, Josh? Oh, actually, yes. I mean, that's a wonderful segue to uh, some, some the call fact that like you can that. also get not one, but three different versions of my album, Dueling Pianos, a skeleton for musical, <laughs> on Spotify, iTunes, and everywhere it streams. Ding. Wow. <laughs> and what was, the, so was it called? Sigma grind set right there. Uh, Dueling Pianos, was it? Dueling Pianos, a skeleton for musical. Cute. Featuring okay, a guest look. from long ago, I think called. Um, I think his name is uh, what's his name? Uh, Nikia. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Co-written by Nikia. Okay. okay, you can stroke his dick later. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's feeling her little cocktail there. <clears throat> oh shit, Jesus. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, <laughs> Handles or wreaths. Uh, candles, less messy. Again, okay, depending on how you're using them. Reef. More on the romantic <laughs> side of things. I like a reef. Yeah, just candles. I'm her main that way. I like a reef. Like I'm going to go with wreaths because they are the season. Candles are forever. Reef. Yeah. I could see that. Reef. I love a good, like, a really pretty, like, well done, like, reef that is just, yeah, that's gorgeous. You could have a now, what about, candle, but what about a wreath with a candle in it? Well, that's that a fire is nice. Hazard. Yeah, <laughs> fire hazard. Oh, shit, I'm gonna be on the phone. Excuse me, no. Uh, but if it's a flameless candle in it, then 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 you have something that you can do there. True. You got to remember nice. to turn it off, or else the battery dies, and you got to fix the battery to replace batteries. Uh, hold up. I mean, when does a, a flameless candle become a light? When it's bright enough to read by. <laughs> then when does a dim light become a candle? Oh dear God. I mean if they're they're glow in the dark. Oh dear God. 
Nice. So, I mean, so, it's not very good light, but you know, so they're did, loaded did, our did Gary expect this much lively debate on these topics? <laughs> nope, sure didn't. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's not my fault. You made us choose two things. I have to ask. Okay, I'll stop. That's all right. Okay. Next okay. up, Bouche de Noel or Fruitcake? Bouche de Noel. Uh, what is mm. Bouche de Noel? That's the um, holiday Yule log cake. Looks like a yeah, Bouche de Noel. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Although, I, I, honestly, I've never, had, I've never had a fruitcake or, or uh, whatever. What, what was it called? I forgot. Bush de Noel. Oh, Bush de Noel. Bush. Bush de Noel Bush. sounds much more uh, tasty. Or a Yule log. Yeah. Right. Basically the same thing. The Bush de Noel, definitely, yes. Maybe he's going for fruitcake. Okay. So well, I have to... like... Oh, what's dear. a fruitcake going to give to you Then Bush de Noel would not give to you, but ten times better? Depends on what type of fruitcake we're talking about. Is somebody that makes actually a good fruitcake. Yes. Then that person will make it even better. Maybe, maybe, maybe the fruitcake which uh, actually has uh, uh, like fruit in it instead of like, I, I think a lot of people like the traditionals use like gummies instead of like well, the, they actual dried the, fruit. The, um, yeah, they use the candied fruit. You're supposed to use candy fruit. Um. <laughs> I was going to say, today in 2020, Plus, you have to be careful when you say gummy. You have to clarify what kind of a gummy you're talking about. <laughs> yes, we all we all know about that, don't we, Gary? Listen, <laughs> you shady bitch. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain that in a second. <laughs> Next up, eggnog or wassail? Wassail? What is what's wassail? It's wassail. It's A I L. I know how yeah, to spell it's, it. It's, but it's pronounced wassail. Um, I'm talking about pronunciation, not spelling. I know. Hang on. So, um, wassail or wassail, both are correct. Or wassail. Both are correct, actually. Nice. I, I still have no idea what I mean. It, per, the dictionary, per the dictionary, per the dictionary link that I got when I just hit Google, it is pronounced. Wassel. There's, um, a, there's, also, there's also one next to it that has a long A sound. Like um, a, so it's basically wine drunk during celebrations of the twelfth night and Christmas Eve. I, I would like to plead the fifth on this one because I do I... not drink alcohol. Ah, that's okay. a good way out. I'll do that one too. Oh, <laughs> I know you could have Hi, Joshua. You could have have you could have eggnog without the rum. But so. you can't have um, wassail without alcohol. Yeah, that, because it's spiced ale or mulled wine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with wassail. Right. You could make a, a non alcoholic version of it. It's basically you just apple wassail. cider, ginger, cinnamon, coriander, clove, like, you know, you all the could, spices. You could do that. But if you're making it for a group of people coming to a party, you're probably just going to make the alcoholic one anyway. So I have never had eggnog. No, have I had wassail, wassail, or whatever the hell you want to call it this weekend. Or here, here's, here's, here's another, here's another yes. like like trick on the wassail. Is as a verb, wassail means going from house to house at Christmas singing carols. So you go a wassailing. So right, I was... technically, wassail could be going house to house singing carols. I've never done that either, and not actually singing carols. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. A wassailing <laughs> is a whole new. I, I will go to wassailing after I have some wassail. It, like it's part <laughs> of a song too. It is. It's. I know. Here we go. Nice. All right. Next up, holiday ham or roast beast? Both. Ham. <laughs> Both. Ham. Oh. Oh, wow. AJ coming in hot on the outtake. Hang on. Um, yes. <laughs> like, I you, say... you know that, 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 I don't know what movie it's from. I think it's from Hercules or something. 
where they have the two guys that look at each other. Both. 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 Both is good. Uh, that's from the Real to Eldorado. There we go. I've never seen nice. that one. I, I've never seen the movie good. that it came from, so. So I will <laughs> admit, I prefer ham, like if on a holiday dinner. But um, if you can get me like a good like roast beef, like like a prime rib or something, shit on that, like on a, on a holiday. Yeah, perfect. Oh, what a surprise! I'm in professor I really like ham. You hush, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you there. <laughs> You don't get to say me, honey. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang. What did you say? Um, I actually prefer beef. Because mm. I like it meaty and ham is kind of boring to me, that's all. Okay. That's mm. fine. Technically, ham is a roast beef because pig is actually a beast. <laughs> So technically saying be roast beast means anything that's roasted. But anyway, we get the gist. It was pork or beef. <laughs> was, the, was, was, was the general gist of the thing. <laughs> anyway. I was like, were we not supposed to give like anecdotes in every line? I feel like I thought that was the purpose of this. Wasn't that, not really, wasn't that not the purpose? Really. Someone, no one told me it was not the purpose. I was ready. Okay. It's just kind of like, a, you know, it's, a, it's you know, it's a holiday it's a, social. It's so a people. Discussion. Right. It's just, you know, we're, people we're randomly discuss discussing. our answers. Maybe some people are keeping notes as to who they would, who and who they would not date but, based off of their answers. I mean, <laughs> you know. <there's... laughs> I mean, no answer here is wrong. Yeah. Correct. Except well, for the one that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the one that you disagree with. All right. Next up, Frosty or Jack Frost? Uh, Frosty. Frosty's got a belly on him. Jack Frost is this like skinny little guy. If I prefer you're the going Jack off Frost of from the claymation. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's asking if you prefer bears. Uh, no, I think I think not just the claymation of Frosty the Snowman, but um, uh, I think a lot of the um, different depictions through cartoon and what have you is all a spindly, uh, spindly little guy, like uh, uh, the lat of the um, something of the Guardians. What is it? I should Rise know. Of I love that movie. Rise Rise of the Guardians. Um, he he was a skinny twinky boy, um, but then in, in the Halloween in the, in the uh, horror film Jack Frost, uh, Jack Frost is a an evil snowman. Mm. And in, and in mm. Shin Megami Tensei, he's a cute little adorable, like snow bubble thing. That's really yeah, nice and sweet. And you have to decide which one you want to get. I feel we should and go then... with the classic. Go on. In the Santa Claus, uh, uh, maybe two, three—I don't remember which one it was. I think it's three. Um, uh, it was Martin Short. So again, well, Twinkie, Twinkie guy. I feel there's too many variations of Jack Frost to be chosen, and I'm much for the stick to hunky hat wearing pipe smoking Frosty there's, Snowman. There's also the thing with how. Society might be playing Jack Frost with evil because Jack Frost brings the wind and the cold and the snow. That's fair. Which technically sustains Frosty. Oh, God. It's true. I mean, who so, would win a rock I'm never battle, saying Jack Frost. I'm never, never saying Jack Frost is bad. I would never say Jack Frost is bad. Uh, he is mischievous, maybe, but... I wouldn't necessarily say that he he is in my mind of the real Jack Frost. He's never evil or bad or anything. He's just a sure mischievous person who brings brings uh, snow and the cold and and the freezing winds because that means you get to to be able to be in in the house curled up with a nice hot bear and uh, keeping your, each other warm and walk, uh, drinking some nice tea and. Uh, uh, by the fireplace while watching a, a holiday classic such as Santa yeah. Claus the movie. Or Speaking Krampus. of, <laughs> this is what this one is going to be the most uh, interesting. Controversial. Yukon Cornelius or Chris Kringle, aka Santa. 
bit. You can Cornelius. From what I've seen, he looks more colorful. I don't even know you can't carry me like this. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get called out. Yes, you have, on. honey. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Def, are you funning with us? No, I don't think Oh dear! You don't you have you? Oh, ah! Uh, now I remember. Him. Okay. Yeah, now that I've seen an image, he, it just—I don't really remember necessarily. But no, Santa. <laughs> I'm still. It's 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 still Santa Claus. And you know me. I respect the the normal statement for all bear culture is to go. Oh wow, Santa Claus, he's so hot. But I'd like to point out that Yukon Cornelius has great beard beard control. And also oh yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's on his beard like, game. Like if you want to get dirty, dirty, dirty dick bitch Santa, fine. But y'all want to get a man that's clean. Y'all got Cornelius right there. Like it's the middle of the fucking winter. Homie's still, still got that, that mustache work on point. Just wow. Saying, but he can be dirty though. He can be real dirty. I feel and, like he and could. For those be. of you who like me, so just he hearing can, the name, don't remember. If you go back to, I think this was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, yes, right? in the 60s, yes. Um, the Claymation, um, he was in that. He was so, the um, um, I'm going to... Um, Are you going to share the meme, David? No, 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 no. Because I'm looking there, for... There's an exception of Meg for Santa Claus. If you've ever seen the Netflix movie Claus, the animated one, oh my gosh, I love that one. <laughs> I just yeah, that's probably the, my favorite iteration. But like you, you gotta look at oh, what, I keep forgetting. Santa Claus the movie, the 1985 film Santa oh. Claus the movie, which stars stars uh, Dudley Moore, John Lithgow, uh, but also Santa Claus is played by David Huddleston, and is the perfect. Santa Claus and the most That's happy, great. most handsome. So awesome. Santa Claus the movie, best Christmas movie ever. Come on. You're being you're just gonna be fucking Yes. Of course, when I want to look for this one meme that's been shared, I cannot find it anywhere. How oh, annoying. I'd like to point out, just as I wish, that Santa Claus is many variations, whereas Yukon Cornelius is one and only. So, uh, mm, mm. if your marriage may vary, do you really want marriage may vary, or do you want consistency in your life? Mm. And, and ginger. And ginger, you know, yes. you know the forbidden fruit. I'm good with shapeshifters, so. Um... <laughs> Touche. Well, my um... father is a professional Santa Claus, so I can't, it's too close to home for me. So. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, that's fair. So... So my partner is a professional Santa Claus. So, which makes so you a real Santa fucker. <laughs> we don't. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. We don't. We don't fuck. <laughs> Anal. We don't. Anyway. But to get back to you, Conquer Elias, let me just throw this this wonderful picture in to kind of. Get is over. that the meme I've been looking for? No, it is not the meme you've been looking for. Damn He's it. a friend of mine who. This is Mr. David Wilson, if you follow him on. Um... Sorry, this content is unavailable right now. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, it's under, has... it's under things. Hold on. He probably has it unlocked. Share the screen. I don't, hold on. Let me jump to my thing and, oh, present now. Present for it, Damon. You can, you can share a tab, a window, or your entire screen. Uh, please, you please make sure you share the right tab, just in case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Present for us, please. Oh, good lord! Hold on. <laughs> I think is this going to give me? Oh, good! This gives me a preview. Good. Okay. Thank God it gives you a preview. Just saying. So here we go. I am a professional at presenting with Google Meet, by the way. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, great. Yes. But if he's no, he's <laughs> not trying to rep- represent uh, uh, Santa Claus to the guy in a. I mean, 
I suppose if he is trying to be Yukon Cornelius. Yes, he's trying to be Yukon Cornelius. Yeah. Mustache not uh, right. Then it works. Yeah, his his mustache is not Look, on point. Right. In in real life, you can't get a mustache like Yukon Cornelius. No, it's it, that attitude. It's really it's <laughs> or at least it's really difficult. You can stop presenting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I was jumping back. I was gonna go to someone else. Because um Son of a bitch. Okay, everything's so. Yeah, okay. You're just gonna be that's kind of fucking slow. That's nice. Thanks. Great, great, great. Okay. <sighs> See if I can find this picture. Don't mind us. Don't mind me just pulling stuff up. And we'll have this picture come up. Then we'll go back to you and we will share the the uh, and we'll find the tab and share. So that's my guy. Oh, <laughs> hey, Santa. Huh? Hey, you look good. Yes. This is him during Winterfest. This is him on the float um, for the holiday parade at King at Winterfest. So, yeah, yep. So he's perfect. So yeah. in other words, Santa wins. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I I'm sorry. I have a, a really strong bias for various reasons. Sure, you to Santa Claus. So I I feel anybody who someone's... is true. Anybody who who is a true uh, cuts out loud fan knows that if you're going to ask me for so and so versus Santa Claus, Santa man, Claus will be Santa win. Claus every single time. I feel since someone has brought out their partner as an example of a perfect Santa Claus, we should concede to the Santa Claus line. It's only no. fair. No. Okay. Well. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> except, maybe except AJ. <laughs> Sorry. And me, I... just because of the father thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're being close to home. A little yeah. too close to home. That that's a little creepy. I can get creepy. <laughs> daddy Santa. No, no, AJ. Wrong, wrong wrong to daddy. Of daddy Santa. But no, still. I don't want. I don't want to feel like this. Please Bad stop. Bad <laughs> no. <laughs> Newspaper whack. Go to oh. horny jail. <laughs> yes, go to horny jail right now. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this could be read at your leisure later on. I'm putting this link in the live chat. From 2019, there's an online post from a website called Reductress that says Yukon Cornelius could still get it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. I need this article in my life right now. <laughs> oh, oh, it's good. It's not very long. Um, it says, according to a new report by the Washington-based Institute for Human Sexuality, Yukon Cornelia, star of the 1964 stop-motion animated TV special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, can definitely still get it. Quote, it was actually a bit of underreported phenomenon at the time of the special's release that moms everywhere were discussing Yukon's erotic appeal. End quote, explains Melissa Griffin, who headed the investigation. Quote, once we realized the scope of that, we had to ask ourselves, can he still get it? I feel like if this were a live action film, he'd be played by Nick Offerman, so. <laughs> oh, yes. I don't like Nick Offerman in the slightest, so. Oh, you would like him over in the Santa fine. suit, though. No. no. Then I would just think. If he's faced out in a pillow, does it matter? Yes. That booty does matter. <laughs> it's fair y'all it says towards the bottom in a survey of people who are attracted to men ding 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 uh 78 percent of participants were willing to bestow cornelius with the designation of zaddy 84 percent agreed he was thick in a good way hey wait wait, wait hold on hold on <laughs> roll it back what was that zaddy z-a-d-d-y what is that a a sexually attractive man especially of an older age who is fashionable or charismatic um no <laughs> uh, that 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 meme uh, that that trend whatever e toe 
here. Yeah. <laughs> daddy does not exist. This daddy is. I note awesome. your. I note your uh, old man. Get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. I will. I will acknowledge your 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 veto. I, I will. I will acknowledge your veto and call into it another veto. Are you vetoing my veto? I totally am. Nice. <laughs> I'll veto you to the floor. Hmm. I'll veto you to the floor. Oh. Oh my. Who wins? Who has? Right now, I said I'd video to you to the floor, but that's not there. Yeah. That I'd I'd like to point out that the images of people who come up for like. Uh, Zaddy is headed by Eldris Elba, so at which point I automatically support it. <laughs> I mean, that's automatically that's... English, and he's black. Like, I, 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 and I, I, I will say this. I think that's here's, the, here's the thing: is Eldris El, Eldris Elba oh, needs to be the next James Bond, hands down, and everything. Oh, he's he very he handsome and everything. No, he's just not my type. Happen. And I will say, say everybody who has lust after Eldris Elba. Just... Damn, you're that you, you that's totally good. Not really my my jam. But he's he could also be the next Doctor Who, you never know. That would also be really cool. Who? Finally get rid of all the white people. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love uh um Gosh, I'm just Let it be on the record that um, that statement was said by Jeff, but not by Lloyd. And for now, I did not say that. <laughs> on the record, it was not me. For anyone watching this later, thank you. <laughs> this brings it from Lloyd. I like. I oh. I love the current. I basically love pretty much all the Doctor oh. Who's. But uh, finally, finally, we're going with somebody who's not white. Uh, we already got the female down now, uh, and uh, well. We already know that Doctor Who is bisexual. There you are. So that's nice. Dink. That's He's family. Nice. Alien, but family. Nice. Aren't we all a little bit alien though? That's true. I'm I'm nice. not my visa passport says otherwise. Thank you very much. Wow. Shall we? Were there any more so, for that? Now, I was going to say, if we're ready to go on to the naughty list now that we've derailed that totally, much. Into, totally right, like derailed. territory. Here, here's the time where if we're guilty, we need to hide. For the guilty? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so the naughty list, uh, the way this works is I'm going to read off a list of random naughty deeds. Uh, players who are guilty will turn off their camera. Just hit the video mute switch. And the last person standing, quote unquote, is the nicest. So do you win? Do you get a point for being the nicest? I mean, you could. Or something? I'm I'm kind of afraid they the most vanilla person here. I am a little worried about this one. I may just leave the camera off just to start. I'm, we'll see. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm, 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 I, I will own. I'm a little curious of who will turn off the camera first. Oh boy, here we go. All right, first one up. Told a child that Santa wasn't real. Oh, I mean, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. You are wow. an evil, evil man. <laughs> Okay, hold up. Okay, I come from fucking Ghana. All right, I have time. Ghana, like, I'm like, guys, Santa isn't real. Okay, you need to get over it. I'm sorry. I get the presents. I'll buy you stuff. That was my baby brother. Okay, it was important. I said, let him know. I said, let him know. All right, look, Santa listen. Santa I don't is... need to be judged by you people. I don't know you. You don't know me. Santa is real. Period. Flat out. Yep, I'm out. Don't ah. tell him it's not lot <laughs> that he's not real because he is real. Oh. Listen, you can lie to your kids if you want to your kids, but he was my baby brother. I had to, I had to keep him up. He was watching Santa British Claus TV and come up with these weird, crazy concepts like Santa is real, like the two furry exists, like why people aren't trying to put us all down. I had to tell him what was up. It was important. You win. Amen. I'm we glad you've been you. put in your corner. I'm surprised okay. Krampus has to come for you yet. <laughs> <laughs> Also, okay. <sighs> are you ha- are you good? Next, I'm did good. you get that out of your system? I got my system. I'm good. I'll, I'll go. go. I'll go quietly. Take a deep breath. Right. No, it's fine. Second one. 
pretended to be sleeping so I didn't have to shovel. Meaning shoveling snow. No. I like shoveling I just made snow. Excuses. I just made excuses or whined. Nice. We just bought a snowblower. All right. Number three, gifted someone an item I got for free. Yes. <laughs> what was about being with little Owen? Okay. Up? How about? Okay, I, have, I, I don't. I, have I don't. To what if you don't remember? Bit, it's only just because I was trying to get rid of stuff because we're moving. So yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if if hey, you can have this. We're moving, and I need to get rid of it. I don't. I don't think of that as a, a, a necessarily this would be like a, gifting. It's yeah, just it's, uh, uh, you're giving away versus gift gifting because gifting's like wrapped in present sort of type yeah. type situation. I have. I well, have. well, giving away I mean, is. Uh, I, I still wrapped it up, so oh. it, it is gifting. Okay, then you're screwed. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so. Yes. All right. right I tried to help. Next up, watched Netflix during the work day. Nope. No, actually, no. Really? Actually, no. Not Netflix. We can't oh. stream any work. <laughs> what? It, it, what? It, it, it specifically says Netflix. It so. specifically said Netflix. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> if it is. I was like, oh, I'm going to. No, actually. Yep. No, no, actually. Like, All right. Yeah. Next up, we'll see if anyone survives this round. Ran a red light. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I live in New York City. I don't drive. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So we I don't uh -oh. run either, so I can't run past it either. So. <laughs> You don't run a red light. You jaunt. <laughs> so we're down to Josh and AJ. Here we go. Uh, next you up. Are all looking sweet and. <laughs> sweet uh -huh. Cut someone off in traffic. I, I will say yeah. this. I will take it that you would have to uh, purposely have cut somebody off on tra traffic because there are times when you accidentally do it. Fair. Uh, raided someone else's candy stash. Wow. We're the goodest. I also am the only one that keeps candy in the apartment, so. Ha! Ah, fair. Argued over pop culture. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> I'm very opinionated. I'm sorry. <laughs> AJ's the nice one. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did are you? Are you? Are, are you sure? Are you? Are you sure, AJ? This Am is, I? This is I one of of the the naughty list, right? Because these yes. are very tame naughties. <laughs> I, 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 can we have some more random noise that can last longer? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll, we'll, everyone can put their cameras back on. So AJ's the first that has lasted all. <sighs> Look at that halo. <laughs> Did the camera come back on? Okay, there we go. And everybody's camera uh, adjusting back to the normal. Owen? He might have stepped away to go to the bathroom. Oh, there, there he is. is. All right, so we'll go to round two. Let me mark this out. Round can... two. Round oh, two. Fight. <sighs> nope, I don't. Nope, we're not going to drink any more of this bottle. We're we're good. We're going to stop. It's a work day tomorrow. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I've already drank half the bottle. Oh no, it's not. Oh. I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't have I to do. work tomorrow. It's 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 a holiday tomorrow for 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 us for me. Well, that's nice. nice. Bastards. All right. Uh, privately messaged a coworker about an unrelated topic during a video meeting. 
<sighs> so, <laughs> can we please play the game where I get to win just once? <laughs> so, if it's about something that's going on, that's on topic, right? Right. It says explicitly an unrelated topic. Good. Wait. Oh, bye, Gary. <laughs> I mean... Okay, look, listen. It was a boring meeting, and we had Gloomhaven to play later. I think I'm allowed to organize while that's going on when oh, we're not talking. Wow. Gloomhaven is very important, though. <laughs> I, mean, I have to own it. It was... It was... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> um... All right, this one will be interesting. Uh, eaten a whole bowl of cookie dough. No. Yeah. I don't That's eat salmonella. <laughs> I, I still find I'm still finding this very uh, unsatisfying. For, this is this is categories. this is tame naughty. This is we're gonna naughty, move. Naughty. Y'all calm naughty. down. It'll get it'll get triple X soon enough. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I'm ready to turn off my camera just so I can use the restroom. (laughs) (laughs) Lied about getting a present delayed in the mail. Oh, like sending (laughs) one or receiving one? Probably you lied about a present being delayed in the mail. Okay, so I so. It like you were the, sending well, something to somebody and you say, oh, it's in the mail, but it, you haven't uh, okay. the mail yet. Never mind. I'm trying to think. So you are the sender, not receiving. Correct. You were okay. giving, not receiving. Mm. I don't know about that. So <laughs> mm-hmm. very frequently, very infrequent. Wow. Uh, speaking of presents, you re-gifted a present. So this is different from earlier where it said gift to someone I got an item for free. This means that you literally took a present that you have received, a gift, and you re-gifted it to somebody else. Mm. I don't think I've ever actually done that. Yep. This Hold is on. all also based off of memory, so... <laughs> I had to think oh. for a second, and I was like, wait. Yep, I remember that. It was it was it was a gift to, it was a it was a gift that I got that I then gave to someone else. Therefore it was a re-gift. Yep. Officially a re-gift. Yep. I had to think about it for a second. It's been years, but it was a thing. Nope. We're not drinking anymore this wine. As a matter of fact, we're gonna right. pour in the bottle. <laughs> Next one. Snuck one of Santa's cookies. Ooh. You better get off my fucking cookies, bitch. <laughs> Look, there's a difference between sneaking cookies and, and sneaking Santa's cookies, which means it would be the cookies that we would have laid out for Santa. Uh, uh, never, ever would I sneak Santa's cookies. Never sneak Santa's cookies. Mm. Mm. Don't touch Santa's cookies. Santa. was going to get cookies if I was around. I'd have eaten that shit. Don't touch Santa's cookies. We're not going to use this cork because that is not working. All right. Next up, forgot to gift someone at the holidays i i i will admit i forgot to purchase my my gifts for my nephews this year so uh, that was an immediate my favorite thing about this game is watching aj always go uh, like there's a finger and there's like a questioning look like that uh, like an item of clarification is needed it amuses me well, no, because sometimes people will give you gifts that you're not expecting. So it's an unexpected gift. So is does that <laughs> is that included in that? So what you're saying is you had not planned on getting them a gift, and now you're unsure if you should have. Because we have not planned on gifts in the past, mm. but for this year they give you a gift. Listen I think if you. there was an, uh, an expectation of gifts and there was a surprise gift, then I don't think that, that counts. It's like surprise sex. <laughs> well, but... like, perfect example, like Jim's family has, we hadn't talked about doing gifts this year because we weren't doing Christmas together this year. And lo and behold, we get a gift card from his brother and sister-in-law. And it's like, well, fuck, what do we do now? Like, we're not 
like, do we give him a gift? Oh, well, then we have to give your brother and his other his other brother and sister in law a fucking gift. And then we have to give my family gifts because we gave his family gifts. Uh huh. Uh uh. No. Damn whoever did that. Because now I got to be all kind and giving and shit. <laughs> Stop that. All right. I got to the shot this lemonade. Continue, Gary. <laughs> uh, next up, binge watched for five plus hours. <laughs> I binge everything, so yeah. So AJ gets to stay on camera, huh? Yeah. As he's pouring another thing. Yeah. It, it, it's one of those things where if I did, wasn't out before, I would have been out here. Same. Nice. And, and also, guys, it, does that count if you're watching, like, uh, you go from one episode of Critical Role to the next? Because each of those episodes are about four hours long. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and, and you only have watched part of it. <laughs> so I have my, like, oh, there you go. Now you're in there. Um I will own. I have been watched like plenty of Law and Order SVU. Sat on the couch, hours on end. <clears throat> yeah, I'm for sure. Me, I'm sure breaks in between probably would would count. For me, it's like I have to know what happens. I have to finish it. Mm -hmm. I, I need I, to know the story. I, I literally binged the entire Wheel of Time yesterday. I was like, it's Christmas. Let's just watch the whole thing. Wee! Yeah, so that's apropos for binge, binging. Wee! Anyways, AJ is on. the nice one. Everybody Again. can turn their cameras back on. I'm the goodest boy. I don't know in, how this in, is happening, in normal, honestly. In normal <laughs> situations, in, in everyday sort of situations, you're the goodest boy. So we need to get a little more into it. I'm not going to say yeah, anything to that. We need to get deep. I just would like to not go out first, please, in the first round. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Please. Like, how deep do we want to go? <laughs> how deep is your love? Not is your love? How deep is your love? Oh, that is oh good lord. That's a deep cut. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I hope Those, it's not a cut. These puns are getting way too deep. Painful. The first cut is the deepest. <laughs> first cut is the deepest. All right, we've reached round three, so we start moving into the XXX territory. Oh, there please, we go. Please, God. please, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one, I, don't I don't know if this is going to wipe out everybody in the first, <laughs> first part. <laughs> Watched holiday themed porn. Porn? Oh no. Yeah. On purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I need to clarify this. On <laughs> purpose. <laughs> Lloyd's yeah. pulling at AJ. Point of <laughs> clarification. <laughs> what, what, like, what is this? like someone theme. like I personally do not watch Santa porn because I'm like, ah no one wrote down that road. But someone no. sent me <laughs> Straight porn in the form of Santa ish nope. holiday thing. It was definitely not straight porn. Uh, uh, I feel I should be but allowed. But there's not a theme and, I'm just and gonna, like, no, no, strictly Santa. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm going to ask for a point of clarification. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right now. Because it may bring people back. Is the whole is does the whole porn have to be holiday themed, or is it just a scene that is holiday themed? Look, nowadays I, porn I, is just the scene. I feel it should be the scene, not the whole thing, because it, it would, it's, I'm it, sure it, I'm yeah, sure there's yeah. not an entire themed. There probably well, is. Because because I, I believe recur, you're putting this in context right of being like wrong. a DVD which has one of the one of the uh, uh, segments in it is holiday themed. Uh, We're not talking about a full DVD versus uh, 
uh, of porn. We're just talking about porn in general, which means segments. I have to ask also, do you have to watch like the whole thing or just like a piece of it? Because like ooh, ooh, ooh. whenever yes. I'm watching porn, I can't I can't stay on one thing. Like my mind if, doesn't work that way. If I did not watch the point of ejaculation, did I really watch the porn? <laughs> I'm assuming you don't necessarily need to see, see watch the full one. It's it's it tell you it, it's it, there's probably like uh, the five minute increment or something like that of the scene or something. If you watched it a significant amount, even if you didn't get to the point of like actually the, you know coming. Okay, I'll just get my camera off again. Yeah, there we go. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Damon joins us immediately. <laughs> I don't this like is it. bullshit. I refuse to. Believe. This is not I, fair. I, 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 not I, fair. I, I, I am on semantics. I was thinking about semantics. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, continue, Gary. Uh, have you viewed elves being naughty? See, so no one's ever viewed an actual elf being naughty. Because depending on how you think, an elf may not exist. Now I cannot believe I'm doing this. I'm about to Google elf porn. But, <laughs> I cannot believe. No, but Damon, Damon, so you're out do. already. Don't try to save anybody else. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Oh my sweet. Don't, please don't. Yep, yep, it is. Of... It is a thing. It is a thing. There is <laughs> elf porn. You're gonna go down a road. Oh, oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> Yes, don't, don't, Can oh, we have stop it. Male elf porn. There we go. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no. <laughs> it is not better. <laughs> Continue, Gary, apparently. Um, <clears throat> let me go back to the list. Uh, fantasized about Yukon Cornelius. <laughs> AJ, you, you gotta like get out right now. AJ, oh, think about it. AJ, get the <laughs> fuck out. Yeah, so thought. <laughs> but you can't seem to touch myself then. <laughs> oh, dear God. So, uh, this is probably the one. I don't know how else to, to preface it. I imagine this will either. either one of us will win, or none of us will win. <laughs> uh, gooned to Santa imagery. Ooh. This is this is the place where I would definitely have. Yeah, have, Jeff would have, have been gone. I would have gone, gone right. there. Jeff would have been gone. I would have been gone like a third time by this point. Just... <laughs> Bye, Gary. Aww. <laughs> I'm sorry, is Goon what I think it means? Um, I, I'm going to go with the, probably that's what it means, yes. Okay. Like ogled. Oh, ogled. Like, oh, he's hot. Okay. No, that's fair. no. Masturbate too. Ah, uh, yeah, Josh is going to win that one. <laughs> so Gooning, Gooning may simply may be most simply defined as that state usually achieved after a prolonged edging session when a man becomes completely hypnotized by the feeling radiating his penis. Wow, this is a really in-depth definition for Urban Dictionary. Um, since a gooning state can only be achieved after edging, the man's dick will have become mightily aroused. Mightily aroused. Okay, at this point, and every caress the male genitals are subjected to will trigger potent elation. As the man keeps edging and thus keeps experiencing intense pleasure, he enters a state of trance where his mind intimately merges with his cock, the gooning state, where he and his dick become one. What, Gary, the, what fuck? the fuck have you been doing to your penis? <laughs> what is happening? I am reading the Urban Dictionary definition of gooning. This is not something that I have heard. Well, to, wait. Yeah, David. <laughs> <laughs> Never oh. mind. <laughs> to be even more accurate, when the gooning state is achieved, the man's body 
becomes for all intents and purposes an appendage to his erection. When this state is achieved, the male becomes freed of all social codes of conduct and his arousal alone dictates his reactions. As a result, a gooned out man will become very expressive and demonstrative. He may become very vocal, while his body and face might take on undignified expressions and poses, all in response to the intensely exquisite caresses his penis is exposed to, hence the term goon, since at this point the man effectively looks like a silly, foolish, or eccentric person. Gooning is not a narcissistic manifestation. Wow, these are big words for Urban Dictionary. Um, <laughs> narcissism is extreme selfishness with a grandiose view. Okay, okay. With a grandiose view of one's own talents. Rather, gooning is closer to a meditation experience where the mind and the body align, focus on a single thought or feeling in this case. This wow. would not be out of place in a Sigma video. This sounds very jail crystal, Jason. <laughs> and if you don't know what a jail crystal is, Google it later. There's a uh, meme about it. Jesus. I was not expecting to read such a long ass, surprisingly thorough, very explicit, yeah. like thorough definition from Urban Dictionary. Could you read it again, but slowly? <laughs> Well, I think it's safe to say we can come back on camera since uh, Josh survived that round. Congratulations, Joshua. I'll, for all I know, you've yeah, all gooned boy. to my father. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I <sighs> didn't want to do <sighs> that. Not right. your father, Josh. So this is, a round, this is not round four of, of the naughty list. I'm just curious. Has anyone here at any point discovered or knowingly uh gotten off to a real life santa so <laughs> what do you mean by real life santa? <laughs> no, no, no. like so gotten off with so we know that for example we know that damon's partner jim mm -hmm. portrays santa he's one of santa's helpers during the holiday season mm -hmm. so th that is a real life santa that's what i mean by like so, Someone who actually plays Santa. So, so, so somebody like who would be, be like... <laughs> as, we've, as we've learned. <laughs> right. Does Someone technically having sex Santa with someone who plays Santa count? Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. that's not fair. Right. That's like half my sex life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Camera off, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really easy... It's easy work on Christmas. Oh, God damn it, I'm out. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. You don't need to turn your camera off. We already said that. <laughs> we're, 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 this isn't part of the naughty list. I mean, what did you I, say? I, what did you say earlier, AJ? Huh? You did something like this, and I thought you said something at the same time when we were no, talking I, about. No, I, I said, uh, I said, Lloyd, turn your camera off. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all calling I will, me out. Look, I mean... it's not my fault. I'm attracted to certain type of man, and the certain type of men tend to get work pretending to be santa it's not those two things are not related they're not related they're just separate. um <sighs> it is true it's very rare that people put casting notices out for plus size men unless they're looking for a santa claus so i mean which is I very could... sad although they're doing they're starting to do better they are they're they're they're, they're starting um so for those that don't know, and I'm going to have to look this up, and then Damon, you can put this into the, the tags or whatever. We interviewed a Santa oh, Claus yes. yeah. Who years ago. Sadly Jim passed. Stevenson. Yeah, Santa Jim. Um, and you don't have to go very far, I think, in the, the click hole of the internet to find him. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he has been very. Um, he was very active. And we active. Uh, uh, revealing. It was episode three four one, Damon. Okay. Uh, when we interviewed uh, Jim Stevenson from the twenty fourteen Santa Claus uh, documentary called "I Am Santa uh, Claus," and uh, he was a very sweet man. Uh, he um, was blessed. Um, <laughs> 
in talent and other ways. Uh, so before the interview, I had seen things. <laughs> so that made the interview interesting to me because I was like, I, 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 I see and know things that, <laughs> that cannot really be referenced during this show. Like, there, there's yeah. images out there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so that's kind of what made me think of that question just as general as like, have you have you discovered at some point uh, perhaps that you've uh, had a Santa? Um, See, I, I don't think an I've intentional ever, fantasy like, or don't get me wrong. I saw those photos, but I didn't get off to one of those photos. So it's it's one of those things where it's like, eh, not really. It's OK. I wouldn't say um, it sadly, but this didn't happen. Um, what are you I'm looking really, for, David? I, I'm I'm looking at trying to find at least I when I typed put his name in, I was trying to find at least a picture, but I I did find one, but uh, I'm trying to see if I can link to it, but I don't think I can. Um, I'd like to put it in the the chat to share. Yeah. Uh, he was very, he was oh oh there's oh, oh that's so tiny never mind screw that <laughs> i have no idea where you're going with any of this it's okay sorry i was trying to find a picture one of the more explicit ones but maybe not the more explicit ones but at least one that could be suggestive enough and i did find one but well, yeah. someone just recently, the reason he came to mind is uh, on my Twitter, someone shared a photo, not knowing who he is. It was one of those online accounts that does nothing but like repost oh, other yeah. people's images. And uh, so it was comical to me that people were sharing and loving this picture because I was like, I know who that is. I have actually <laughs> talked to this person. And um, yeah, like, I mean, you know what I mean? But they weren't. Yeah. If yeah. I were. I don't remember. I don't think they were dressed as Santa in the moment, though. That was one of the things that Jim did kind of say was that he never really crossed that line. So, mm -hmm. like, he was known to be a professional in that, you know, arena and got paid for it. He was in the documentary, but he also was a uh, Mr. Uh, Texas Bear Roundup. Um, he was active in the bear community. Do you know what I mean? So, like, he, uh, you know, kind of had different worlds, so to speak, but he didn't, mm -hmm. he intentionally did not try to. Yeah, be like a you know a sexy Santa, quote unquote. I've worked with an actor who uh, was uh, who was a Santa and also um, was doing um, uh, not even not even porn, but just just like a gay show. And uh, they um, they just tr try to keep their lives very separate because families are are, are very uh, particular, I guess, about Santa's imagery and Santa's mm -hmm. background and what he does on his free time. Yeah, and it was. When we had that interview, that was the thing I remember the most about it. And it's very similar. So FYI, this is very similar to Jim. So Jim intentionally, like my Jim, sorry, there's, I know there's the Jim, Santa Jim, and then there's my Jim. Sorry. Um, so many names. Um, so Jim, my Jim intentionally does not, you could ask him to your face turns blue. He will not do it. Understandable. He does not. He intentionally separates the Santa from the the those that enjoy and get off on Santa. Like he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. For lack of a better phrase, he does not cosplay or role play as Santa in anything sexual. Has he ever talked about that, Damon? In his um, because I think it at events you guys have discuss role play or costume yeah like, have, as, as part I of don't know if he's ever because i don't know if he ever if he ever brought up the subject of, of that or not maybe during one of the classes he's done i feel like he probably has um okay. i think so i just have to i'm going through my mind and i'm thinking like yeah i think he has mentioned that specifically like he does not intentionally um he could but he doesn't like like it's one of the things probably that's 
the easy, like most accessible to him because he has the suit and he has all the stuff, but he intentionally does not, he's not going to role play that in any kind of scene because he knows he wants to keep that separate. That, right. Yeah. No, and that makes did, sense. He did talk. I think he has talked about it because it was, um, I think it was the second class where he was kind of going into how to acquire things. And you can very easily acquire a Santa suit. It's not hard to find. It's not hard to purchase. Well, you can you can find a simple Santa suit that's not expensive, relatively easy. Um, if you want to get into all like the bigger and custom and all that stuff, then you're probably dealing with costing. But we were talking. I think one of the um, classes he had was on how to acquire things, and Santa suits was something that was mentioned because you see his beard and you kind of can put two and two together and get ho, ho, ho. So. <laughs> yes, that was intended as the 100. So he would, he would not do it, but <laughs> I have a, I have a question, David, I'm curious about this. And, and all the oh. years I've known you and Jim, no, like, mm -hmm. uh, it just occurred to me. When did you know that Jim did that? Like, oh. like, did you know that before you met him? Was that something that came up while you were dating? Like, so it came up afterward, after we had started dating. Okay. Um, and he was doing the first time I knew of him doing Santa professionally was he was doing it through um, the murder mystery company that he's a part of because they would do a holiday one every year and he was usually Santa. Um, um, that's where he got his um, actually got his suit from. Uh, was from the um, um, murder mystery group because they mm. had purchased it for him. And then when it went, um, when it eventually started getting bought out, he purchased a suit from them. Um, but that's the first time, th those were the first times I knew about it. And then um, he started doing Santa gigs. Um, the earliest I can remember is 2007, 2006, 2007. So flashback story mode for everyone. Um, so uh, 2007 was the year I won Most Huggable Bear. And I think, Gary, you're the only one that would probably know this story, if you even recollect, because <laughs> it has been that long. So, OK. so. Midwest Bear Fest was in Indiana, which was only two hours away from um, Cincinnati. Um, Jim and I went, but he had to work that Saturday at um, one of his Santa gigs. It was like one of like that's why I'm, it's coming to mind because he ended up going home um, Saturday morning, very early Saturday morning, because he had a Santa gig. I think this was when he was doing Met Joseph Bath. So we had like breakfast with Santa or lunch with Santa, one of those two. Um, during the night or during the day, um, they were predicting like really heavy snows. So um, he was said he was going to let me know when if he was going to come back because there's a possibility of him coming back and then we would go home like Sunday, like we like pack up and go home. So um, I ended up doing the most huggable bear contest that year. And that Friday night, I made it into the top four. So I couldn't go home with him that Saturday. So I stayed and he went. And the idea was that he would come back and he would give me a call and he would let me know whether he was coming or not. It may have been, it may have been a later in the evening thing, depending on what all he had to do. Um, I'm on stage and at that moment, so William Brown was the, um, MC, mm -hmm. um, at the moment, William Brown asked me, do you have anything else to say? Like we're kind of introducing ourselves or second introduction. My phone starts ringing. Now it's vibrating in my phone, in my, in my pocket, but I say <laughs> my phone is vibrating. William takes that and immediately jumps on it. 
because you know phones interrupting a contest is kind of a you know no no thing. I end up taking the phone. I take the call and I kind of explain like my partner's in Cincinnati. He was supposed to give me a call if he was coming or not. So I take the phone call on stage um, <laughs> and have the conversation. Um, he's not coming. He tells me that. That's beside the point. But um, I'm having this conversation in front of everyone. And Jim knows that. And then Jim also knows William and William knows Jim. So mm -hmm. I give the phone to William and he kind of has his little bantery moment with them as well. It's hilarious. And it was a risky move on my part because this was a this was back when it was judged. Um so we had judges. So they could have been like, well fuck that asshole. Why is he doing this? Taking so long. Um but they ended up really loving it and I ended up winning. So <laughs> Yeah, it was a, it was a, but again, that's one of the earliest in my mind that I remember Jim mentioning he had Santa gigs, mm -hmm. um, and he does he's done he does the Joseph Beth one usually every year, obviously not last year, um, and then last year he did a lot of virtual, um, not a lot, but he did several virtual like Santa things with families and um zoom meetings and this year he's done a couple of those he did a couple of school gigs um he did the breakfasts and lunch breakfast and lunches with santa um yeah so i've not i i didn't know when we met i knew it after we met that he was a santa nice welcome to that story <laughs> i um found out when i was younger not real young probably closer not quite teenage years but in you know that part of the the single digit age range or something i had finally got about that my dad um dressed and uh for younger kids so it's always kind of just been a, a thing you know that i'm aware of that you know individuals do that or whatever and so uh I just thought of that. I was like, I wonder when that came up. Like, if that was something you knew before you started seeing each other, or if that developed along the way, and it was just kind of one of those random, like, oh, hey, by the way, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that every time now because I think it's hilarious. But no, yeah, it's been, it's, it's well, no, I've not drunk enough for that. Um, <laughs> you have. Yeah. Bottoms up. <laughs> That's what he said. Mm. I mean, if you hear, you might as well finish the story. Um, just, just, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, right now, Damon is actually looking at Jim. I think. No, no. no. <laughs> Jim is not here. Jim is at Winterfest. He will. He is. He is. He is not home. Um, well, fine. You, you were looking in the he direction has, as he if has, he was. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm looking for my way out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like exit stage right. Oh no! The camera went out. Wait. <laughs> stage right. <laughs> um. He. Okay. So fine. I'll say it. Um. So Jim has a boy. Um, who, if you follow him on his um, Twitter and other places, you know that his boy has a Santa fetish, like mm -hmm. hardcore, like Santa fetish, like dresses up as Santa himself kind of thing. And yeah, 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 yeah. So that has always, that has been a issue with the two of them because his boy would definitely love to role play with his act his his daddy or sir being santa like it would probably be like the top 10 if not top like like role play you know moment that he would want but jim won't do it let me rephrase Interesting. to my knowledge jim hasn't done it Right. Jim hmm. has role played other things with him, but to my knowledge, 
he has not role played Santa with them. In a slightly slight tangent, what counts as role playing a Santa during this? Can I just say ho 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 and be done with it? Well, do no. you have to go, do you have to be like do you have to be like are you so, on the no I'm very bad at dirty talk. Are okay. you on the naughty list? I don't really know how to go so, down. Welcome to the class Jim and I taught several years ago at Claw. Um, <laughs> to, 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 I, I don't have to pay for this. this yeah, pay. you didn't have the paper. To summarize very briefly, very quickly, role play can be as simple as, like you said, like you can just be like, ho, 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 and what have you, and you're good to go. But that may not fulfill the entire role. You're probably going to want, especially with the Santa, if they don't already look like Santa, you're probably going to want to have some things to kind of enhance that experience. Mm -hmm. So, for example, a red suit, a red hat, you know, a beard. You may want to put the beard on. Like, for example, as I'm looking here, Jeff and, um, Jeff and Gary could probably throw on a hat and maybe the coat are not the coat. Um, and maybe throw on like a pair of gloves, like white gloves, and you would get enough of the illusion of Santa to kind of role play with. Now you are going to probably want to talk. You are probably going to want to like set the scene. Um, so the, so the, yeah, Do I need stop. to put you on your naughty list? Yeah. So with that, McJosh, you can Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> my mustache game is not on yeah. his point so yeah like i think i think uh no josh josh i mean with the fact that josh has red hair it would be easier quote unquote for him to like put in the role of yukon cornelius but he would probably need a, like i always go with hats because i love fucking hats like i think a hat would work <sighs> a pick <laughs> Stop it, AJ. <laughs> um, it, it could potentially work, um, but it all depends on how, it's gonna depend mostly on how deep you want the role play to go, and then how invested you are in playing the role. We could have the conversation and say, you're Santa and I'm the naughty elf and that's what we do. And then we go into the bedroom and that's how we play it. But at probably at a certain point, without anything to kind of enhance it, it's going to just fall into you guys having sex. Like it, it defeats the purpose. But if you um, put Gary, on. I think the... you need to write down a uh, uh, little uh, note for possible topics for LPAS uh, role play. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Um, I can probably get Jim's notes and probably I could. Ooh, fuck. Oh, do it. Mm. Wheels I'm, now turning. And, yes, and wheels are turning. Brain. Sorry, because I could. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'd have to find out. Um, that would be a question to ask him. So I could probably do that. So, so there's going to be a section on Patreon where he writes off the sound, right? Where just... <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to roleplay a Santa, I don't recommend it, but here's how we go about the list. There you go. Hot, well, beard, so you and... want to roleplay a Santa. Yeah. Like, one of the things that, I, like, for, for example, um, so Jim, when Jim was doing the... Um, the um zoom calls he did not do them in full like santa um like suit regalia he he intentionally chose he um got the costume that he wears in the um show that he's doing at winterfest right now which is a pair of red like um corduroy suspenders and a in a um turtleneck mock turtleneck it's a colored like um santa themed or holiday themed um shirt underneath it um and that's what he decided to wear because the idea because most of these were happening before christmas um was that he was in santa's workshop 
Um, so he put the background behind him of like a workshop theme and he, he had, we even got like a um, big piece of green fabric so he could, it could look a little better than like this. Um, mm -hmm. And um, he intentionally played it as Santa's intentionally calling the, the person while he's working in the workshop. Cute. Is it bad that I, I think the concept of casual Santa is hotter than normal Santa? Is that... <laughs> I like I'm like I'm like wait casual Santa I'm suddenly interested. Yeah. Working Santa. Working I think that's it is the working Santa that I'm into. Oh god, I'm terrible. Just <laughs> sprinkle some garlic salt and it'll be perfect. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Call back. <laughs> Hold on. <sighs> my goodness gracious. Uh oh, Jeff's left can't le left the camera. I have a sneaking suspicion. I know what he's up to. I, I think I because of this callback. Yeah. <laughs> did he really? Did he really? Yes, he did. He sure yes, did. he did. Uh huh. Bitch. Damon endorse. <laughs> Jeff has yet to test it. <laughs> Seasonings, greetings. Oh. Okay, I'm not. I do not stay up late for this. I refuse. I'm going to bed. I don't need this. I don't need you. Mic drop. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Owen. Good. Great. Perfect. Yeah. Timing was oh. amazing. You get to, you get several snaps for that one. Good for you. There you go. Oh. <sighs> too funny so what i'm hearing lloyd is that the idea of of santa fantasy is more appealing to you if it isn't about christmas specifically like and and the whole like chimney and like delivering gifts and stuff like the idea of santa outside of that element is more appealing okay i feel like i should probably break this down a little bit more <laughs> oh dear because we're gonna go into we're gonna go into it it's not that i don't think a hot guy in red coming on my chin is kind of cute it's just for one santa has always been a big red guy that comes down people's chimneys gives them presents and leaves a mythical strange and not really a real thing Whereas working Santa sounds like actually I'm a real guy who has a job. I've got things to do. <laughs> I got quotas to meet, and I'm like, that's so hot. That's what um, I'm into. I'm into the idea of someone who act like a, like like a like that's real. It feels real to me. That's what I like. Okay. It's fair. Although, let's see. Yes. Um, I'm gonna see if there I was can... a North. There was a was it Nordic video, Nordic Norwegian Christmas video with the gay Santa. I gotta find it. It's not sexual. It's not that kind of video. Mm, hang on. Uh, I think it was a commercial, wasn't it? Yes. I think it was. Was it Danish? I think it might have been Danish. I saw it this. I saw it like this month. It was really good. Yeah. Just look for post office Santa. Thing. That's the one. Oh dear. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Stop. So I thought I told a really touching story, not my cup of tea, but I thought it was a really touching story. Some of you might be interested. If you've not seen it, it's in the chat. Oh God. It's yes, in the chat. I... No. There you go. I, I, I've seen this one. I saw it. I've. It's very interesting. Like anyway. So, um, yeah. I'm trying to think if this is the. Uh, yeah, I've shared so many things. 
I may have to, if I could, if I could get this to, oh, wait, maybe this will work. Oh, good. Maybe the link will work. So, Lloyd. Yes. Don't like the way you said my name. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a video. Oh, okay. I'll take a look. And I think it'll work. It's it's Facebook, but it works. Yeah, good. So that's casual Santa. <laughs> casual Santa. That's a great video, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it was produced by Kings Island, so. <laughs> so it's, oh, yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Santa takes COVID precautions at work. That's good to see. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's like, y'all get double vaccinated. Are you in a lab in the fucking goddamn tent? Get out. I don't care how much magic is in your veins, the elf. Go get boosted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was one of the... Um, so, um, if I'm remembering correctly, um, again, Jim, partner, Winterfest, um, they didn't do Winterfest last year, or they did it very limited. Um, and they didn't do this. I don't think they did the show, or maybe they, I don't remember. There's a part of me that feels like they didn't do it. But anyway, but they did do this um, um, video as kind of a, like, thank you, what have you, to the to everyone for coming and attending Kings Island when it was open. So yeah, there you go. But that is, if you look at the outfit that Jim is wearing, that's what he, that's what I was talking about with the um, overalls casual. and the the very casual working Santa. Ta-da. Just, sounds just passing the time, but doing some mm -hmm. work. I can respect mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, we've all gone quiet. I know. <laughs> if we're... I'm watching the commercial. Oh, the video. Ah, I heard of it, but I didn't. I didn't end up watching it. Mm. It's a hell of a long commercial. Well, I don't think it was a. It was a commercial. I think it was more of a, like an actual video that they put out on the site. I don't know if it actually. I mean. It goes into commercial at the end. You see it coming. Uh, well, yeah. But then again, how do you com how do you make commercial about the post office? Oh, oh, you mean the 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 Norwegian one, right? Uh... Yeah, it does take a while. That one definitely. Yeah, it's, it's like about four minutes. minutes. But again, that's also um, different, you know. Wow. Different place, different people. Y'all should come to Europe. It's great. I have. I've been. I've been wanting to travel again to Europe area for twenty plus years. I was in. Um, uh, Italy and Switzerland when I was in college. I graduated, when I graduated college, I went into, on a choir tour. It was oh. kind of my, my senior gift for myself um, when I graduated um, uh, was to go on tour with the chorus that I sing with. And we went through, we went through a, um, a company that does these things like they they actually booked everything um we had days where we stayed in hotels we had days where we stayed in no we stayed in hotels and such for most of the trip and uh but then at most evenings we would be performing um and we performed in these really beautiful like churches and and sanctuaries and um toured most of italy North, more northern Italy, and then we got into Switzerland before we came home. 
great trip. I, I'm glad I did it because it was just a great fucking trip. But um, it must have cost a fortune, though. Well, this is one of the benefits of going to a college where most people there are poor. So um, most of it was paid for. Uh, oh, nice. But as I was a graduating senior, I didn't get everything because I wasn't a continuing student. Um, so I had to pay for some of it myself. Um, and I ended up um, asking for, I got stuff from home. And then um, to cover like the last bit of it, I asked, oh yeah, wonderful, miss her. A wonderful woman who worked for the college um, who offered to help cover the last bit of it. Literally gave me a check and yeah. So, cause it, it the, <laughs> so what they ended up doing is they charged it to your um, college account and then I couldn't graduate until that account was zero. Um, so, um, so the 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 money that they they charged um, for the trip individually, I had to pay for, and then I got some of it. I, like I told you, I got some of it from from um, family and stuff, and then she paid for the rest. So, yeah. Fred, it was, it was, it, yeah I, I'm so glad I did it because it was such a great place. And this was 2002 to kind of give you an idea of how long ago it was. This is a really cute video, Damon. Oh, Jim's? Yes. From last year. Mm hmm. Yeah. Who's this random dude? Oh, that's, oh. I think, like the vice president. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, it says so in like one minute. Gotta just I know, but he just comes wandering in, like, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I'm like, the fuck's with this dude? Like, he's walking in on Jim's line. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who directed this shit? Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, very true. That's well, funny. I was like, what? I'm 20 and 20. Jim's probably ears are falling off. Or we're like falling off. They've been talking about him so much. <laughs> They're red hot because they've been burning so much. They've been talking about him so much. Uh oh. Well, and of course, depending on when it went, oh, well, right now he's probably in the parade. No. <gasps> Oh, that's right. So, because it's after yeah. Christmas, he doesn't have to do the parade. Oh, they stop it officially? Like, no, 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 no. They keep doing. They do the parade. They just don't do. They don't still don't have Santa in the parade because it's after Christmas. He's too busy sleeping. Yeah, he's got to rest up till New Year's Eve. <laughs> I'm just, I just—it's very funny because. Um, because I wonder if they still use the um, float piece that he's in, that he was in. I doubt they do. Text him and tell you to send you a selfie. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <sighs> Damon, I have a question. Oh, God, what? <laughs> Well, so something was said in this commercial at the end. This is like, I'm like, okay, so this is a thing. Blue hot chocolate. Is that a King's Island thing? I think it's a King's Island thing. Um, <laughs> the vice president's like, you could go relax over under the Eiffel Tower, which for those of you that don't know, so King's Island is an amusement park and they have a miniature Eiffel Tower, like the one in Paris on their property it's like their oh. big iconic visual thing um and yes you can go in it uh to the top and, and look out and stuff so i'm like i was fine with like that part of it i was like okay this is all you know part of their theming and he says you can enjoy some cookies and i thought he said blue hot chocolate and i was like what i think he does say blue hot chocolate i was like blue hot chocolate that's why i had to ask i was like is that a from... right right like 
<laughs> like, are they importing that stuff from the Star Wars universe, or are they, you know, <laughs> obviously I don't expect you to have an answer. I just had not heard of that. I was like, oh, that's I'm different. very curious. Um, download. I just found a recipe for Blue Mermaid hot chocolate. Blue Mermaid. That sounds exotic and I know, salty. Right? salty? <laughs> Did you say salty? Well, yes. These aren't fresh mermaids. Mermaids, mermaids oh. live in the ocean, right? Like, <laughs> and the oceans are salty. Typically, that's where we get sea salt from. I'm one oh dear. Okay. So one of the things. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the map for Winterland. Winterland. Woo, Winterfest. Um, and one of the places you can eat some treats is Jack Frost's liquid libations. So of that's course. where you get the blue hot chocolate, I bet. Number 12, where are you at? There you are. Hmm, okay, probably. Oh, God bless mommy bloggers. Uh oh. Ah, uh, so it's white hot chocolate you start with. Okay. Interesting. Then you're I feel white chocolate is cheating. Guy. Yeah, milk half and half Ghirardelli white chocolate baking bar. Um, vanilla blue dye uh, whipped cream and sprinkles as desired. Hmm. One single drop of blue dye. Well, it's supposed to be a light blue. Oh, that's hilarious. Because look, mermaid. Yes. I'm looking at the places for dining at King's Island Winterfest, and one of the places is 11 Pipers Piping Pizza. Yeah. That's, I, that's, I love the alliteration. I, I, I do as well. Um, I mean, I feel they cheated by just grabbing that. Could have been 10 drummers grabbing piping? pizza. Piping hot, like piping hot pizza. Oh, I was thinking piping in a different way. Like piping. <laughs> or piping. Never and mind. now I've got the 12 days of Christmas stuck in my head. And you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more naughty, but you know, whatever. Mm. Oh, anyways. Oh. Like piping. Anyway, I'm going to stop because <laughs> I can't see myself on my camera. <laughs> I'm looking at this um, um, menu or this, this, I'm looking at the Winterfest site and I'm like, what is this? Oh, so I was wrong. Jack so Frost we... liquid Go ahead. Is, is, is the, it's the more adult area. Warm up and get married with fe a festive collection of spiked hot chocolates, ciders, and an assortment of beer and wine. So Jack Frost is where you get the get the good drinking on. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, we're good. We can continue. So uh, as we get ready to wrap up here, did anybody uh, get a gift that they wanted this year? Or I mean, did you have a good holiday experience? I got a uh, a, a nice uh, like windbreaker jacket. Uh, it was it's technically a handy down he down from uh, my aunt uh, because his it was my uncle's who recently passed. So uh, I have been asking for jackets, so it was definitely something I wanted. I did get some caribou coffee. Yay! I also got. Things that uh, I don't know where anybody got the idea that I would want any of these things. And uh, it's kind of odd that I got any of these things. One was a, a FC Dallas scarf. And I'm like, whoop, whoop. yeah, um, my job, uh, people watch soccer all the time. Um, Excuse me? But uh, uh, I'm in training, so I don't. And I'm not much of a fan of... <laughs> Football. Thank you. By the way, you British people are the ones who 
coined he the ate term it, he's gonna <laughs> Thank you. He's currently there. You will call it. You will call it football, and we'll we'll leave well, that. Well, FC out. is Thank football you. club, so and there you go. Ta-da! Uh, but there's a, a scarf. I don't know where that came from because uh, uh, I didn't. I live in Austin, Texas. I, I don't need <laughs> scarves. <laughs> I, I definitely I mean, don't go to uh, uh, football games. Uh, so I don't know where that came from. Also, I got... There were both two Caribou Coffee drinkwares in, in, in a mug. The only thing is, I don't really have any place to put drinkware now. I've run out of places to put drinkware. So I didn't want drinkware. But I got three... three like, I got a mug. I got and got, like, two thermal... Beverage oh, holders. Yeah. One of them has a leather strap around it, which has a little flask in it, which is kind of cool, but uh, didn't need it. I'm like, um, hey, yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, well, so it, I was, it, I mean, besides the jacket and the coffee, uh, I was kind of disappointed in my Christmas. Well, I will say this much. It's sometimes it's a good idea to think about rotating through some of the things you have in regards to drinkware, because some things are because some things are older and it might be time to let them go. Um, as someone who literally got a um, when I moved into my apartment so many years ago, I was going to specify, but I don't remember now. Um, and got from a friend a hand me down thing of like their like dinnerware and glassware and what have you and again like you jeff i was living by myself i literally needed three cups maybe four um, so i had four years in a tub a bunch of like dishware including glasses that i never used and i never touched and you know what happened when i moved into this house it came with us because Jim doesn't throw shit, want to throw shit away. And we looked through it to see if there was anything we wanted, and the answer was no. And you know what we did then? We finally threw that shit out. Because <laughs> we weren't going to, there was no reason for us to re gift it, because it was, it was like in a, um, a male, if you, like the big male, white male bins, mm -hmm. it was in one of those, so it wasn't, nothing was covered, so anything that had lived in my you know like any dust any debris any insects that went in there and died like that's what it stayed and we were not gonna like we're just gonna wash all this stuff and then give it out to someone else no we're no no well no we did wash it never mind i am wrong i am wrong we didn't throw it out we washed it and we sent it to um there's a saint Vincent de paul's up the street i was gonna say donate it yeah yeah, we don't need it. Yeah. No, I could I could agree with you on that, David. Like, because recently I purged some things from my own kitchen. I was like going through, and I was like, "Do I really need this many pint glasses of like random advertised stuff?" <laughs> AJ shaking his head. Yes. Yeah. So are you are you in agreement, or are you saying yes? You need them. I don't need them, but you need them. <laughs> no, no, I do not need them. <laughs> so. Um, in fact, I saw a picture on Twitter and it was so cute. I really liked it. It was of a couple and I don't know how many years it was at like the beginning of their relationship. And so it's a picture of them sitting on a couch, holding two pets, like two dogs. And they had like Christmas lights. It was very like holiday themed, but they recreated it. And they are now notably, um, Santa personifying, like <laughs> the beards are now pretty much white um you know they have different pets what i paid attention to though is i was like oh look at like this is like your very typical like age evolution stuff this couch looks like a couch you would have when you're in your like you know your 20s your late 20s and now that we have the the more modern picture it is a lovely wood framed craftsman higher quality you know kind of couch and furniture like it just really kind of looked evocative of a very like late 80s early 90s to like the 2020s you know uh kind of change of things and i thought it was really sweet i was like oh i was like you know but um 
it was making me think about how that naturally happens when you're younger you tend to either be given free things or you know you um get them you know at a lower cost be from you know a thrift store or mm -hmm. something of that sort because you're starting out you know when i first moved into this place almost 10 years ago you know i didn't have my own furniture per se or things because i you know was sharing a house with somebody and they had everything so i didn't really need that stuff so when i moved in you know people were nice and they gave me stuff and then over the years i've every once in a while do a purge and i <laughs> um move some things out in fact i recently moved some things out and it went to vincent rich <laughs> for their home <laughs> Here, i asked politely uh just so you know since uh and i don't think you're aware aj uh i got a new tv that was my one like big gift to myself this year oh. and i offered and the boys now have the television so so really all of my stuff is just migrating to them <laughs> which is fine nice so in fact i just asked vince i was like how's the tv because i knew they are they have a, a deep you know a good decent tv in their living room so i was sort of surprised that they were willing to take the the, the tv that i had that i got from you and right. he was like and he's like oh no it's good he's like it's in the bedroom he's like it, you know it's very convenient and i was like and that is exactly why it is not in my house <laughs> i did not want a tv in my bedroom that was my one my one yeah. thing i was like it's bad enough i fall asleep with an ipad <laughs> so no 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 i don't do that i have a tendency to sleep on my sides <laughs> So I turned the whole iPad sideways and it's propped. And then I, I fall asleep. I do, the same. I do the same thing when I my phone where I plug in, I'm watching something and I'm sleeping. And the next thing I know it's morning and the phone's off. And I'm like, great. <sighs> I got shelves for Christmas. Mm. You got what? Shelves. shelves. Wall shelves. Oh. Yeah. So I went to a gaming convention, the first one in like forever hmm. in December, which meant I needed shelves. Mm. So I got oh, yeah. shelves for Christmas. That's that's why I spent so much money. And now I have shelves. And that's my Christmas present. It was shelves. Shelves and a stream deck is what I got for Christmas. Mm, nice. I got some equipment for filming uh, and a lot of beef jerky. Ooh. Because I told my mother to stop sending me candy. <laughs> yeah. You know. So, keeping with the food theme, they yep. just pivoted yep. just to something but, else. But beef jerky is is healthier than candy, so I will go with that. And it also lasts just as long. And it does just last just as long. Um, and I can eat it for lunch at work and not feel like I'm not having lunch. There you go. Yeah. That's fair. And I can just pretend I'm a hobbit on some sort of adventure when I'm eating it. <laughs> Tasty. Um, and you still, and, and depending on the jerky, you get a bit of an oral workout. I don't know about anybody else, but I have found like to eat a piece of, of jerky seems ridiculous to me. It's kind of like potato yes, chips. No, it's like, course, why yeah. would you just have one? But then if you're not paying attention and you eat a, a decent amount of it, I have found that I have a tendency afterwards to be like, oh, well, <laughs> like no, my jaw I, I muscles mean, are like, dang. It doesn't really make sense. I, I, I'm, I, that's why I don't buy beef jerky for myself because it's really just like you eat a bag of it. You don't just sort of like eat the, the, the piece of it. it. It's like you get the bag, you open it up, and well, it's gone. There you go. But yes, and then, and then it's very exhausting on your jaw. It is, yes. Yeah. Yes. You have to practice and get those jaw, those jaw muscles working. True. True. Stop it, AJ. I see that face. <laughs> I've done nothing. You didn't have to do anything. I got uh, a wallet, Ooh. a new wallet. Um, Does it have a chain? I got... No, I had one when I was a teenager, though. Um, I had, I, what else did I get? I got a pair of fleecy, like, pants, like, yeah um and then i got uh pins that were power rangers 
So it's the morpher, the original morpher, Ooh. and then the Power Ranger. The the other pins were the coins that oh, go inside, nice. and you and you can switch them out. Oh wow! That's so nice. I got that, and then I also got a blanket and good thing you got me. Oh, I got some artwork from my pup. Nice. Oh. Nice. Yay. Yay. I also got uh, yesterday because we did a, a white elephant type of gift exchange. Um, I ended up with candy. So, a oh. rare species. Uh, no, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even like stick with that joke. Um, in the United States, we have adopted a game around the holidays. Sometimes it's called Dirty Santa. Uh, other times it's called White Elephant. And basically people bring um, gifts as a gift exchange. But you end up typically playing a game where you don't know who's going to get what gift. Um, oh, okay. Also referred to as Secret Santa? Yes, that too. Uh, There's so many names. Um, but basically, and then in most games... Uh, especially if they're, well, I don't know too much about it with kids, but with adults when I've seen it, there's been an element of swapping or stealing. Like taking someone else's gift. Yeah. Um, when I was with the Berg Bears for many years uh, at our holiday party in December, we our potluck, we would always have a Dirty Santa uh, game. I would always be in charge of it, and I would always be the very last person. So I would take the very last gift, no matter what it was. I just felt it was the most practical, as the person organizing it, to not try to take someone else's gift. I mm -hmm. thought that was inappropriate. So whatever. Some some years I got a decent gift, and some years I got a really crappy one mm -hmm. <laughs> practical mm -hmm. joke kind of like mm -hmm. bad gift mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah we did we did um a dirty santa we, we were supposed to do a dirty santa here for the pup thing but not so many people showed up and i ended up with a thing of um dehydrated marshmallows like you know lucky charm marshmallows oh yeah and guess where it is it's still in the kitchen <sighs> you, you haven't put it in the bin <laughs> <laughs> It, it's in a bag. They're, we're not. Jim said he would do something with them. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll do something with this, maybe. I'm oh, loving. I'm me. loving. We've gone from from Jim, the wonderful, beautiful partner that you love very much, to Jim the hoarder, which has been a great, <laughs> it's a great, great back and forth. Well, his, everybody has has different levels. Yeah. <laughs> Um, of good things, bad things. Yeah. Oh, and you I actually got this thermos from a white elephant event. Um, it's currently filled with sangria, two cans of pog, and some oat milk. Mm. Yeah. So. Nice. Lloyd is looking at the, like thinking about the the, the combination. He's kind of like, hmm. <sighs> It's the elbow that threw me off. I'm like, what is that doing in there? Oh, it's, it's, it's creamy and fruity. It's good. So. There you go. You go, girl. <laughs> creamy and fruity. <laughs> Sounds like someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like many people you know. <laughs> um, um, I got... Um, did I get? Um, oh, I got um, so gaming stuff. So um, there's a, a thing called Arc Knight, and they do the little um, plastic, like flat um, miniatures that you can use for gaming. And then they have um, spell effects. This is D and D stuff. So for those of you who don't know, um, spell effects and all that stuff. So they had all of this stuff combined in a kind of DM starter kit mm -hmm. that um, I told Jim that I wanted. And um, he ended up getting it to me for Christmas. He also got me um, the Critical Role book, um, the Kith and Kin um, Critical Role book. Oh, yeah, Bikes and Backs. Yeah. And it's funny because he was talking about it. We were having a conversation like a couple few weeks ago and he was they were talking about it on the show and he was like are you like um like it's you know it probably would go on so he was saying it will probably go on sale after christmas and i was like oh i, I don't think i want it because honestly i'm not much of a reader like a like sit down and read a book kind of reader um 
And so the idea of a basically a book that I would need to read is not something I would really be into. But he he when I said that, he told me on yesterday, he was like, I kind of got a little defeated because I had already bought it. And I was like, oh, so he ended up getting it for me for Christmas. And um, I was like, oh, well, thank you. Um, I will definitely try to now read it because I feel that's kind of, I feel like kind of punched him in the gut with that, like, eh, whatever, I don't want it. And I've already got it on I mean, order. <gasps> I mean, you know, maybe if you got the audio book. I mean, Damon, while while you're here, you can read it. I don't know if there'll be time for that. We can make time. It's okay. <laughs> and the Legend of Vox Machia yeah, launches at the end of January. So, mm-hmm. um, this is yeah, and then kind of prelude. So for Jim, um, just because I, I got him. He didn't tell me what he wanted for Christmas. So I took Edward's suggestion from the uh, podcast a few weeks ago, and I ended up getting him the um, a copy of the playbill uh, for company that has Steven Sondheim. And I um, got a frame, and I framed it, and and he really liked it. So thank you, Ed, for that suggestion, because he really liked it. Yay. Yay. And, and Yay. some flannel shirts and um, flannel um, pants. I also got that for him, so yeah. They make flannel pants now. Well, they're the 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 fleece. Sorry, fleece, not flannel. Oh. They're in the oh, like they're in this pants. buffalo tech um, print or buffalo plaid, I should say. Flannel flannel lounge pants. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I got some flannel lounge pants. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. Uh, honestly, it was a Christmas present for me a couple of years ago, and so uh, you have them. Um, well, I got it for me. Well, with that, I think we're done. Yes, I think it's been fun. I want to thank all of you for coming and joining us just for a little hangout online to stream things. I have my very late dinner showing up in approximately 20 minutes. <laughs> I have food in the fridge that I'm going to reheat. <laughs> My poor bed awaits. My dinner is waiting in the kitchen right now. Mm. Uh, and uh, Lloyd is going to bed. Yes, Lloyd is tired. Why? Hopefully I'll go to bed he's soon. The, he's, 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 it's two in the morning. He's across the pond. <laughs> it's late for him. Anyways, you'll find us everywhere where you can find us. Uh, website, Cubs Out Loud, YouTube, Twitter. Facebook comes out loud in appropriate places, URL, etc. etc. Give various accoutrements, such as comes out loud t shirts, hats, various other things. Don't forget building pianos. Yeah, like that again for, for, for Josh. Well, thank you. And you've got like Demon Doctor still going on, and Demon Doctor Pitcher. season two is coming out in the uh, mid of next year, so. And we got the uh, skeleton crew. Uh, all of that is available. What was the, what was the YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash sidekick productions. Thank you. We also uh I'll have, have them friended uh on the Cups Out Loud YouTube channel too. Yes. So we are nice good friends. Mm-hmm. Uh any, anybody anything else anybody would like to plug? Here's your time. I mean, my uh, my pup page, Pup Zio, I am the 2021 World Pet, and I will be at uh, a few upcoming events at, at North American Bear Weekend, uh, Mid Atlantic Leather, uh, TBRU, and Bear Psychers of Mayhem. Woohoo! Keeping yourself busy. Yeah. Good with that. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is where you hit the stop recording button. <laughs> you expect me to? Yes, how do I you're do the one that? that's doing it. I don't know how to. <laughs>